Hello, welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Larissa and today I'm going to react to the new American Horror Stories episodes. Today it's time for episode 6. This episode is called Clone and before I start I want to tell you that you can see my reaction to the full episode. I think this episode is around 45 minutes. So my full 45 minute reaction is available under the uncut reaction tier on my Patreon. But beside the uncut reaction tier there's also an early access tier. And if you subscribe to the early access tier you can already see some more of the other American Horror Stories episodes so the ones that aren't available on my channel yet and uh, yeah if any of that sounds interesting to you the link to my patreon is in the description so check it out and uh, yeah today this episode it's called clone like i said i quickly read what it's about and it says something about uh, an accident and a tech billionaire assigns a robotic clone to temporarily replace himself or at least that was his plan. So yeah, I think it's pretty obvious this episode is gonna be about a man cloning himself and that's gonna go wrong. Honestly, if you say to me, yeah, I'm gonna clone myself, I can tell you that's probably gonna go wrong. But yeah, let's see what the story is of this episode and how it's gonna go. So yeah, I'm very excited to see another American Horror Stories episode. So uh, yeah, let's check it out. Oh, we're instantly starting with the intro. I feel like that doesn't happen a lot with uh, American Horror Stories. I'm always trying to get like some information out of the intro, but I feel like you really can't until you've actually seen it. Looks to me like he's baking or cooking, not like he's doing a lot of experiments. Oh yeah, okay, a cake. So then, pomegranate? Lingonberry. Why would you taste that from someone's face? <laughs> no, no, no. You have to do it. It's bad luck otherwise. I, I can't. It's, it's yeah. Cake, your Coco Vin. Huh? You're the one who sent me to cooking school. It's just tremendous. It took you too many years, John. What? What did? To connect with a real passion, an adult one. Are you about to give me another one of those in-life speeches? Coaching position, it just feels so juvenile. You dread the start of every school week. So, me, at home, no job, a widow to a workaholic, American housewives waiting for their rich husbands to come home to dinner. <laughs> Changed my entire life, my entire sense of self to live here. But if I don't have something of my own, a, a purpose, then I'll wind up in some spiral. Some, it's some, still some taking some me so long to figure oh, out if they're father and son it's or if they're like the boyfriends. <laughs> I think it's his dad, right? It's my birthday and I... I don't know. No. Yes. <laughs> I think it's his dad because he also said like that he gave up stuff to live with him. You don't say that to your partner. <laughs> Top of the morning, in the Hot Wheels. Here for this app called Jog Mapper. Yeah, we can track each other's runs with them. You know, it's fun spending these checks from your old man. Okay, from your old man. Yeah, so it is his dad. I mean, it's still a Ryan Murph show. You never know. What do we have, right? We have. Do we see a similar shape up here anyway? Can you see shape, shape that you would know? Anyone? I thought you said no more screens. I know. I just need to. Uh... John, this is Dr. Ziegler. There's been an incident. David's had a stroke. An embolism. Uh, we have them on blood thinners. Get over here now. David, David Randall. My hospital, and he is my patient. On what authority? David's own mandate. Damn. And yesterday we were, they were celebrating his birthday. This woman insists on putting your partner into a medically induced coma. Partner. Huh? <laughs> David let me know that if it ever got to this, he had a plan for what to do, which is why we have to transport him immediately. Transport him where? You need my authorization for that. There's no legal binding agreement between you and David giving you power of attorney. Oh, okay, so they are partner. What the hell? I'm so confused. David's in a coma right now. He's being moved to, he moved to his company's lab. Lab? Yeah, it's what David wanted. David is very fucking persuasive. And that's why he's a billionaire, but I don't know. Like, out in the normal world, this town's a Oh, so that's the clone then? Bring some food by or come by the house. Call you back. We're done. Oh, it's, it's here, so David Randolph. Have you just gone? No, no, there's no, there's no need to. Hey, hey. What? <laughs> David, 
<gasps> West Worlds! <laughs> Next time, just check in at the front desk. <gasps> He's receiving the best care. Inventions of his own making. This is all his design. Almost sounds like he's been preparing for this. So better to let David explain it himself. <laughs> I really thought a clone was gonna walk in and tell him, but uh, it's just a video, okay. I made a plan without you, but for you, for both of us. Well, no, my health has been in question. I have steered more money than I care to admit to pursue a medical miracle. I now know that I can get better. If only there was a way to be two places at once. After my diagnosis, I commissioned a team to engineer an android that could look like me, sound like me, think like me. A David that could appear in my stead if I had to take a step back. The David you will soon be meeting is programmed to see the world like I do, like I have. So then he just has to like pretend that's him and be fine with that. That has been fed every part of my biography, corporate emails, old birthday cards, videos. But our initial tests revealed that something was missing. Android less cold, less uncanny. And that something, John, is you. You are a huge part of what makes me the man I am today. Only you can calibrate the AI's algorithm more David. And I just unpacking my new what was his name? I wanted to say John. David. Just unpacking my new David. Oh, he even comes with a manual. That's great. One day, while I'm still away, I hope you wake up glad he's there beside you. I want you to be happy, Johnny Darling. This is so fucked. Oh, they didn't get the eyes right. Hello, John. What's wrong, Johnny, darling? You're scared. Did, uh, off, off, off. Shut, shut up, shut up. Fuck, fuck. Uh, good night, David. <laughs> this is so Westworld. <laughs> but what an unhealthy way of dying, actually. Like... Just die like a normal person and let this guy move on with his life. I feel like you could never like really mourn. Because you should always feel like the person is still somehow there, but they're actually not. Messed up. You, you can't be in here. Get out, I'm sleeping. Come on, come with me. Where are we going? Just come with me. And power down. I will power down after you fall asleep Just automatically. turn off. Off. Good night, David. This is so creepy. He's gonna wake up again. Maybe not now, maybe the next time. But he's gonna wake up one time when he shouldn't. I can't. It's just not the same. There's only one David Woodrow Randolph. She serenaded us with Save the Best for Last. Because you're David fucking Randolph. David Randolph. Good morning, David. Hello, John. Don't speak. Just please come here. Sit. That must feel so weird. Jesus. What are you doing here? Can I help you relax, John? Yeah, that's, um... I can remember how to touch you, John. How you like to be touched. Oh. Would you like me to go deeper? Okay. <laughs> hey, stop it. Stop it! <clears throat> Okay, malfunctioning. Stop. Is your neck still hurting? I mean, even if you were into that stuff with the real David, I would not want a clone to do that. Imagine the clone accidentally killing you. Accidentally. I am here for you, John. It's safe to share these feelings with me. Thank you. I am good at prep work that others find tedious, John. May I prepare the onion? Yeah. Oh, that's one thing I'd want to clone for, to cut the onions. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh, damn, he's fast as fuck, bro. <sighs> okay, that comes in handy. That's very helpful, David. Thank you. Is that the onion? Is what the onion, John? Is he hey, crying? Would you like to join me for dinner? I would like that very much, John. Thank you. Why not? Yeah. Right. Why does it also kind of feel like he's babysitting him now? Because, like, the idea is, like, he's there for him. 
like David for John, but he has so much to learn yet that it kind of feels like he's raising a child or something. Savor it. Good morning. Truffles in your omelette, Jay? Doesn't even have to cook himself anymore, though. Hey, hey. Hot wheels. Finally feeling a bit better, I guess. <laughs> Thank Christ for that. Maverick's been missing his goose. Up for a run? Grab a sundowner after. What, is he jealous now? Let me hold on to those, those uh, omelets. I'll be back. Is the clone gonna be jealous? Hmm. <gasps> He's gonna kill the friend. What, you just, uh, <laughs> just let yourself in? Yeah. Ready to hit the road? Where's the bathroom? Just upstairs. Oh, I don't trust this. Yep, he's gonna die. It's also like a thing in horror movies. Every time you see someone peeing, they mostly get killed. <laughs> John? Hello, Jordan. What the fuck? Just so I have someone else in the house. Can't you just get a body pillow? <laughs> Honestly. All right, buddy. I gotta get you out of here. I already thought he was also kind of in love with him or something. Oh, okay, but they did do edibles. Uh, what the hell? What the hell? What the fuck? Okay, now, sure, kill him, I guess. If you go, go, go around raving people. And it's gonna be in for a very long time, okay? What the hell? Drama queen. It's not your house, by the way. He's a sugar daddy. Get the fuck out. This whole thing, it's giving horror. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that was the end of Jordan. That sounded like it hurt, Jordan. Are you all right? You are so fucking creepy. A lotion in your pocket. You shouldn't take from David. <laughs> Well, stay the fuck away from What are you gonna do? Stab a robot? That thing. <gasps> no, please, please, please. I'm going to put it in. And it's going to be in for a very long time. <laughs> Got what you deserve there. <laughs> well, I guess he's very good at getting rid of a body as well then. No one's ever gonna know. Not even John, I think. I made you a sandwich with fresh sourdough and some chicken I found in the fridge. Don't tell me there's human meat in that. I think I need some, some space today, David. Perhaps you could just stay on the other side of the house. Yes, yeah, thank some... you. I'll be in the kitchen. It also kind of feels more like a servant than a partner. I don't know. I don't understand how David ever thought this was going to be a good thing. David? Oh. Huh? To be fair, I feel like that's the last person you want to see right now, but that is weird. I think his phone is just buried there or something. Or is it a trap? Oh, that's where he burned him. Oh, I thought that was just like near the house or in the house. Where's Jordan? What have you done? I do what you need me to. No, how do you know what I need? I anticipate what you need. No, no, I'm not a child. Know what you have done and, and I can't figure out if you're trying to hide. People will do anything to protect the ones they love. Who have you ever loved? I love you, John. My purpose is to love you. It's work. A program that is designed to manipulate me no matter what I fucking say. I know what I want to do, John. I can't do that if you won't let me. Let you what? Let me be who you've always wanted me to be. <laughs> okay. Okay, so he's decided he can also just have fun with him instead of seeing him as a servant or 
a child he has to take care of. But it still wouldn't really sit right with me knowing that he's capable of murder, you know? I really wonder how this is going to end. Maybe he kills him in the end. Like David John, I don't know. I feel like the episode is almost ending, so... You know, last night was... I've never, never felt so in sync with anyone. Is there anything I can do better? It was perfect. What, is David awake now? Miss Koslowski. David's awake. He's been stable since yesterday. He's gonna be alright. Well, his numbers were down. Yes. A little surprised, that's, that's all. What a toll this must have taken on you. Damn, he finally kind of accepted it. They're gonna kill David. You and David will be reunited. It will be wonderful. Let's just enjoy the time we have. You know you actually changed my life. You know that. Fake David. David, do you know that? I can perceive it, yes. You changed me too, John. I thought I knew everything about how to be a companion, about love. But to be fair, if David dies eventually, because David is pretty old. He's gonna die eventually. Won't he just get the android back then? Or <laughs> how should I see this? Good night, Dave. Damn. Already preparing his box. Okay, I really thought they were gonna do something. That they were gonna kill David or something. Okay. I was kind of scared it ended there because American Horror Stories does have abrupt endings, but okay. Hi. <laughs> Johnny, darling. You seem fine, you look good. I feel good. Great, even. Anka has given me a second lease on life. Uh, join me for lunch. What's the matter? Nothing. <laughs> Sorry I couldn't tell you beforehand. With everything the Chinese are up to, we couldn't risk the exposure. There's an AI arms race. You helped Torino's technologies gain a serious edge. How could you do that? Do what? Give me no agency in the decision. I went through all of that for what? To, to train a robot. You treat me really well, David, but I've been feeling, and for a while now, really, I've been feeling like I'm some kind of experiment that you invest in. Mm -hmm. I just, I realized who I can be, who we could be equals partners a partnership <laughs> i finally feel like i can express my needs oh john you're so close to perfect this almost <gasps> is he a clone what when i was facing death as you are now i saw that i was david fucking randolph what it's not my purpose to meet all of these other people's needs. In every room I enter, the only person who really interests me is me. I am enough, and you aren't. What? Covent Garden bimbo who babysits for a living. When the person I've always been waiting for is right here, it's me. Thank you, Charlie, darling. And good night. So he's really just been using him for his experiments. <laughs> What? What what kind of ending is this? No, yeah, I thought so. He's just he wants a perfect version of himself because he's such a narcissist that he wants to be in a relationship with himself. Sublime. Let me ask you. I already was like when he was standing next to bed, like was he ever really sick or did he just do it so he could train the robot? Would you like an afterglow massage? I would like that very much, David. Yeah, I feel like the clone actually started to feel something for John as well. Do I know him? No, you never met him. Blow me again, David. Yes, David. What? How can you be so messed up? What? Oh. Well, I do feel like that it is kind of a recurring thing that there always has to be a plot twist in an American Horror Stories episode. And honestly, it, I think it was a pretty good one. I think it was a fucked up one. But in some way, I... Yeah, I think it was it was pretty unexpected. Because I had my theories like, oh, the, the, the android and John, they start to love each other so much. They don't want the real David back, so maybe they're gonna kill him. Just the idea that 
android David already killed a friend of him, even though he did bad things, but he still killed someone. That kind of made me think like, oh, but there's just going to be something wrong with this robot. And I think it's kind of a good plot twist for once, because mostly when we get storylines like this, it's always like, oh, the robot or like, like the AI, it doesn't function well. So that's where it goes wrong. But right now it wasn't the robot that was wrong. It was David himself who kind of orchestrated this whole experiment and yeah, just did something really fucked up. I mean, I have to say if a robot is able to kill someone, I don't think it's a really well-functioning robot, to be honest. Like, yeah, okay, the friend hurt him. I was just trying to think during the episode, like, if the friend didn't try to rape him or uh, didn't steal or just did messed up things, you know, would he still kill him? Because it did feel also kind of out of jealousy. But I'm not sure about that. To be fair, the friend was an asshole and I can't really say what would have happened if he wasn't. Um, but still the fact that he murdered someone still doesn't really make it a very safe design, I think. But it is a really, yeah, unexpected thing that in the end, David is just, yeah, the bad guy and not the malfunctioning on the android, you know? And like right now, I'm just a little shocked because I really didn't see that ending coming. But if I especially compare this to the episode we saw before, the Backrooms episode, this was already way better. I have to say with the Backrooms episode, it was all a bit more creepy and I just really like the creepy vibes and all. Uh, so that's why I was more interested during the episode. But yeah, the, the ending and the, yeah, how they, they did it. It just felt kind of anticlimactic. Um, while this, it had a really good plot twist in the end, which made the rest of the story really strong. So I feel like this whole idea of creating a clone of yourself or like having this AI thing in your house, uh, which goes wrong, kind of makes me think of also one of the previous episodes, Daphne, but that was just like a security system, also who got jealous in the end. That's where like the system itself just was bad, you know? So like the whole story of having that in your house, I feel like that's pretty much used all the time, especially these days for like a storyline. Uh, but they just had a pretty good twist. So I, I have to say, I really liked this episode. And I think I especially liked it because of the twist, because otherwise I would have been like, oh, it's just like more of the same, you know, only this time it's a rich guy who actually created a clone of himself. But yeah, I, I, I was surprised by the ending. And yeah, it does make me uh, more excited for the last three episodes. I'm going to watch those tomorrow. If you already want to see them, that's possible. It's available under the early access tier on my Patreon. There's already some more episodes there. There's also the uncut reaction tier where you can see my full reaction to this episode and the other ones. And uh, yeah, because this one did surprise me in a pretty positive way. I'm just hoping the next ones are also going to be good. There's probably going to be a bad one again, or maybe two, but there has to be at least one more good episode, right? You know what kind of the positive thing with American Horror Stories is? Sometimes there is a really bad episode or an episode that just felt a little anticlimactic, but then it's like, yeah, you watch an episode of 40 minutes and then it's over. It's not like you're watching a show where you're like really committed to and you're like, oh no, but I have to keep watching because I'm already watching the show, you know? No, it's just one episode. And if you didn't like it after that, it's fine. Then you just move on to the next one. So that's why I'm really enjoying those small stories. And uh, let me know what you thought of this episode. Did you see the plot twist coming? Or just let me know what you think. Then uh, yeah, you can do that in the comments down below. And if you like my reaction to this episode, then please leave a like, subscribe, and then I really hope to see you next time. Bye.